Hi there and welcome back to Loopy Mabel Vintage Style Crochet. My name is Jane and hello to all my lovely subscribers. Thank you so much. And if you're new here, it's the first time you've been here. Hello and welcome. And please, if you love Vintage Style Crochet, all unique designs by me, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now in today's tutorials, really pretty, simple little crochet patch pocket. So if you'd like to make one of these, grab a hook, four millimeter hook and some double knit yarn, any double knit yarn will do. And we can crochet along together and I'll show you how you can make a patch pocket and how you can transform your clothes and embellish your uh, items with just something simple and pretty as this. So I shall see you in a moment. <music> And so to make this pretty patch pocket I'm going to be using I'm going to be using a double knit weight yarn and this one is Brico Creative Cotton Double Knit. I like to use the cotton, 100% cotton because I think it launders really well and you can um, you know throw it in the wash if I'm going to, especially if you're going to use it as a pocket. Um, then it obviously is attached to your garment and it's easy to wash and launder so that's the reason why I'm using that but you can use any double knit yarn it doesn't really matter just be careful when you are laundering if you're using an acrylic yarn that's all I'm also going to be using a four millimeter hook tiny needles as usual just to sew in our ends and some scissors to cut the yarn so today we're being supervised by Toffee so apologies for his purring or may even be snoring later who knows but anyway so let's get on with this pretty little patch pocket this took about 20 grams of cotton yarn 20 grams that's all it took so really simple so you can use up all your yarn stash so let's begin this tutorial is in uk terms so if you're watching from the us please be aware of that so when i mention double crochet it will be single crochet to you guys so here we go so we're just going to start off with our slip knot and we're going to chain 22 1 2 3 4 19 20 21 and 22 and we're going to go down into the second chain from our hook and insert your hook and work a double crochet so yarn over pull through and pull through and we're just going to work down into every chain working a double crochet right the way across so if you just work your way all the way along the bottom inserting your hook and double crochet or single crochet if you're watching from the US and I shall see you when we get to the end. Okay, so I've got to the end of this first row and we now should have 21 double crochets and we'll have 21 double crochets throughout this tutorial. So we're going to chain one and turn and that chain one does not count as a stitch. And we're going to insert our hook into that very first stitch there and work a double crochet and then insert our hook into every stitch along again working double crochet and we're going to do this for this row and the next row so we'll have three rows in total of double crochet so if you want to continue on like I'm doing here working another two rows of double crochet so that's three rows in total and I shall see you towards the end of that third row and then we'll go on to start adding our lovely little bobbles right so we've got our three rows of double crochet and you should should still have 21 stitches so if you want to double check you've got 21 stitches and we're going to go on to our first bobble so we're going to chain one and turn and we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch and work a double crochet and work 10 in total so 10 double crochets in total 
so there's our 10 and into that next one we're going to work our bobble and it's going to be five trebles so insert your hook and work five trebles into the same stitch two three four and five and obviously if you're watching from the US that would be five double crochets so we've got our five trebles there so one two three four five insert your hook into the top of that first one and if you're not sure where it is just count back so one two three four and five so count back insert your hook then reinsert your hook back into that loop and then just bring it through like so and you've created your bobble and we're going to just move it out the way because we're going to go down into that very next stitch and work double crochet so you continue now for the rest of this row with double crochet and you should have 10 to do so 10 double crochet and just that last one there on the end and that's our first row with our beginning of our heart bobble and for the next row we're going to chain one and turn and we're just going to work a full row of double crochet so in every stitch insert your hook into the first one there and work a double crochet and double crochet all the way along so when you come to the bobble which obviously is going, you're going to be working at the back of it so I'll just show you what I mean so just coming along I'm coming to the back of our bobble so you just see the stitch there insert your hook the back of that stitch and just work try not to catch the bobble and just work a double crochet and then you'll find the next one which is there insert your hook and just work your double crochet and then just keep on working to the end now if you struggle to find the stitch at the back of the bobbles you should always have 21 stitches so if you find you you've done your 10 to start with um, and then you've got your bobble area and you're not sure well if you count long you should still have 11 more to do so you should always have 21 stitches so if you think you haven't picked one up just count to make sure you've got 21 stitches to work with so here we are at the end of this double crochet row and we're just going to chain one and turn again and as always throughout this tutorial that chain one does not count as a stitch and insert your hook and work a double crochet and this row we're going to be adding two bobbles so we're going to work eight double crochets and eight so just double check you've got eight double crochets two four six eight and into the next one we're going to work our bobble so again five trebles or five double crochets if you're watching from the US into that same stitch remove your hook count back one two three four and five insert your hook into that first one and then reinsert your hook back into that loop and then just pull through at the back so the bobble pops forward and then you may have to just move your bobble out the way to find the next stitch so there's my next stitch which could quite easily have been lost so just pull your bobble out the way and you can see your next stitch so insert your hook and we're going to work three double crochets and into the next one work our bobble so five trebles one two three four and five 
take your hook out, find the first one, one, two, three, four, five, insert your hook, reinsert your hook, pop your bobble forward, and then just bring your hook through like that so the bobble pops forward, and then just make sure you've got the next stitch down to insert your hook. So just might have to move your bobble out the way, and then insert your hook, and work double crochets. And you should have eight to do. Two, three, and eight. So whatever you have on this side of your heart, so if you have eight before you do your bobble, on the, this, on the opposite side you should have eight to finish off with. So you know you've, you've got it exactly in the centre of your heart. So that's another way of making sure that you've got your calculations right. So that's our second row. And we're now just going to chain one and turn and work another row of double crochet. So, so every row after we've done our bobble row, we chain one and turn and just double crochet all the way along. So just going to double crochet all the way along. And if you need to count your 21 to make sure you've got them all, just count as you go. And there we go. And that completes that round. So chain one and turn. And now we're going to be working on to the third bobble row. So we did eight on this one, and this one we're going to cro double crochet six before our first one. So six double crochets. So down into that first stitch. There's one, two, four, five, and six. And then work our bobble into that seventh. So one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Insert your hook into that fifth one. Reinsert your hook. And pull through. And then down into the next one, and we're going to work seven double crochets now. So one, two, six, seven, and seven. And insert your hook and work a bobble into the next. So five trebles, one, five, and insert your hook into the first one, and then reinsert your hook. and then pull through and then we should have six to do so down into the next stitch and work a double crochet one two three five and six and the heart shape is beginning to form so the next row will be chain one and turn and work double crochet all the way along into all 21 stitches. Chain one and turn. And ready to go onto our next row. So we're going to go on to our fourth bobble row. So we need to chain one and turn and we need to double crochet four. So one and four. And then we're going to work our first bobble. One, two, five, and then reinsert your hook and pull through. And we're going to work 11 double crochets. So insert your hook and work 11 double crochets. So one, two, ten. And 11. Work a bobble into the next. And finish off with your remaining four. So you may have to move your bobble over, but there is a stitch that could quite easily be missed. So set your hook and work your remaining four. 
You should always finish off with the num same number that you started at the beginning of the row. So if you started off with four double crochets, you need to finish off with four double crochets. There we go. And we're just going to do a chain one and turn and double crochet all the way along. So we've completed that row. We're going to chain one and turn and we're just going to repeat this row again. We're going to repeat this bobble row. So we're going to have another row exactly the same. So we're going to double crochet four, work our bobble, double crochet 11, work our bobble, then double crochet four, followed by another row of double crochet. So if you want to continue on repeating what we've just done and I shall see you at the end of that bobble row and we'll go on to the next bobble row which has a bobble in the middle. Right, so I've just got to the end of that double crochet row so I'm just going to chain one and turn. So we've now done two lots of bobbles above each other and we're just going to go onto this row here and it's got the one in the middle so it's going to be exactly the same here so we're just going to work four double crochets and our bobble so we'll do that so insert your hook and work four double crochets and then we're going to work our next bobble so into the next stitch work your bobble like so and then we're going to work five more double crochets so down into the next one one two four and five and then we're going to work a bobble into the next one And then we're going to work another five double crochets. So down into the next one. One, four, and five. And then we're going to work our last bobble of this row. So insert your hook and work your last bobble of this row. And we have four double crochets left, so work four double crochets. And we've got something like that. So now we're going to do our chain one and turn and work all the way along with double crochets. So if you want to work all the way along and I shall see you when we've completed this double crochet row. Okay, so I've just finished that double crochet row, so we're just going to chain one and turn. And now we're going to be working onto our last, our last bobble row, which is this one here. So we're going to be working four bobbles on this final row. So, so we're going to start off with six double crochet. So work six double crochet, and then we're going to work our next bobble. So make a bobble. And then we're going to double crochet into the next stitch. And then into the next we're going to work our bobble. And then we're going to double crochet three. So insert your hook down into the next one. So one, two, and three and I'm going to work our next bobble like so and then we're just going to repeat again so we're going to double crochet down into the next one and then work a bobble into the next So we should have six double crochet to finish off with. 
there we go and that's your bobble heart created so we're now just going to continue on with a further four more plain double crochet rows so if you want to work four more double crochet rows I shall see you at the end of there and then I'll show you how to finish off the pretty scallop edge on our patch pocket okay so I've done my last four rows of double crochet and now we're just going to work all the way along the three sides with double crochet just so we can create our stitches so we can pick up the scallop edge and when you're picking up with double crochets you normally pick up one double crochet for every double crochet on that row so fairly simple to do so we're just going to chain one and we're just going to pick up our first one so just insert your hook work a double crochet and then just insert your hook picking up a stitch of double crochet now it doesn't have to be exact if you miss one just make sure that when you're picking up the stitches that it doesn't pull or it's too gappy so insert your hook in that little hole on the edge and there's normally a hole there for every row that we've worked so just insert your hook trying to keep your tension fairly even and the last one there right in the corner and we're going to work three into that corner one more And that brings us round to this edge and for the bottom edge you're just going to work into the remaining part of the chain that we started off with so you can see the remaining part of the chain there we started off right at the very beginning so just going to insert our hook into there so find our first one so just insert your hook into that first one there maybe a little bit snug to start with and then just work your way all the way along the double crochets and as a rough guide along the bottom you should be able to pick up 21 stitches because that's how many we had so but as I say it's not an exact science don't worry if you don't have the exact numbers as long as your little patch pocket isn't pulling or puckered or too or you've gone like too far and it's gappy so just evenly pick up I'm just coming to the end there so I'm just going to insert our hook and work three double crochets into that same stitch so it brings us round the corner and then again we're going to work all the way up to this end so I'm just going to insert my hook and work all the way along picking up double crochets and there we go towards the end now and it's got a couple more to pick up and one more at the top snip your yarn and fasten off here So you should have a patch square looking like this. So now we're going to be working all the way down with a lovely pretty scallop edge and all the way back up and that will finish off our patch pocket. So I'm just going to move across now to this corner, insert your hook to that top double crochet there, it's in that corner and just reattach your yarn chain one doesn't count as a stitch and I'm going to go right back down into that very first stitch and work a double crochet and then I'm going to skip skip one and then work five trebles into the next one two three four, five 
and then we're going to skip one and work a double crochet into the next and then we're going to skip one and work five trebles into the next and we're just going to do this all the way along like so skip one double crochet into the next skip one five trebles into the next so if you want to continue on just like me and just continue working all the way around round the corner all the way around and I shall see you somewhere around about here and we'll finish off this pocket right so I've just come up towards the end of this last side and obviously I need to squeeze one more of these five treble scallop in here so I'm just gonna make sure I can fit it in so this is a bit where you may have to just uh, adapt it a little bit so I'm going to skip one and do a double crochet and then I'm going to skip one and hopefully I should get my five trebles into that second one from the end so let's see how it looks one two four and five And I'm just going to go down into that very last stitch and just slip stitch just to bring it down. And that's worked out pretty well. And I'm, all I'm going to do now is finish across the end of here with slip stitches. And a few more stitches to go. Just a slip stitch. I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet that we did right at the very beginning. Trim the yarn and pull through. And that completes our pretty patch pocket. So I've sewn in all my ends and there's a pretty patch pocket for you to add as an embellishment to your jeans, back of your jeans or maybe onto a blouse or front of a jumper and only 20 grams of yarn and made in no time. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, if you did don't forget to give me that lovely thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so and then you'll be kept up to date with all the videos, all the tutorials and new designs that I do bring out, you'll be kept up to date. So this lovely little bobble heart patch pocket that we made in the tutorial, I've added it to one of my favourite blouses and how pretty and useful is that. Not just to a blouse or maybe to the back of your jeans. Like me and how pretty and obviously unique is that gonna look to you so I hope it's been useful as always just a little bit of vintage style crochet I like to share from me to you and I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it's inspired you and as I always say though practice does make perfect and until the next time please take care and happy crochet mm -hmm.